Here's my nylon rope. It's braided with no core. It's hollow. And something to attach it to. Here I have a leader with a treble hook. You don't need the treble hook, but then again, if you catch something like, hook into something like a bass, you know, you, you might want to be able to catch it because if you just have the rope lure, you won't be able to. But the first thing is, is you want to get about the amount of tail that you want. And then you want to take some either thread or um, some old fishing line would work too and start wrapping it. And you want to wrap it right where you want your tail. You want to wrap it fairly tight but not too tight because you still need to slip in that jig or whatever you're going to use to hold the, the rope lure to your line. Um, I use it a little bit more. Um, it's kind of like fingernail polish and it really smells like it too. Um, so you could just use your girlfriend's fingernail polish or your wife or whoever it might be. Just dab it on there so that we get that tail so that that doesn't fray so that we can make the body. Now you don't need a body on it. You can just use just frayed rope but I found that in order to uh, be able to cast it a little bit better. The rope lure gets really heavy with the water and then as you throw it, it's really hard to throw a long ways. I'm back here, I got my lighter. Now what I want to do is I want to figure out about where I want my head to be on there. Now since I'm not planning on putting a jig head, I'm thinking right about there will be good. It's kind of a personal preference. Now I want to just do a little bit of singeing here so that it'll be a little bit harder so it won't fray quite so much. Don't want to overdo it. You can see it's already turning black there, but that's okay. Now I'm not worried about my bench because that's what it's for, but if you're using your wife's kitchen table, you might not want to use a knife like that and maybe a scissors or, or something else. Tin snips even would work real good. But now see, it's not a real good head. I'll get my scissors and I'll trim that up. I don't like quite a square head either. But now what I'll do is I'll singe it a little bit more now that it's off. And I'll pat it down there. So now we have the basic and that's the length of the rope lure. Now anything after this is kind of optional but the easiest way that I've found to add a way to connect your line to it is to add either a, a jig head and then have the hook come up through here or just a treble hook and string up a leader like this because guard do have sharp teeth and they will get tangled up in the first part of the line and then the hard part is getting this through and that's why you don't want to wrap it too tight like I did took a little bit more work than I was expecting it to uh, doesn't always work out quite the way you want it to but right there is how it is got the red hook here got where you're gonna make a loop there cinch it off with the the correct one of those things <laughs> no with the correct um, piece and so it'll look just like that on the end we'll get it close up there but it'll look just like that on the other end without the hook and then you can tie up your line to there now to make it a little bit easier I'll spread the tail out here and once again that's the part that catches the fish uh, the long nose gar not the hook the hook is more just there to hold the lure onto your line and you carefully pull that all the way up in there and that way if you do hook into something else you can catch it you want to be careful when you're pulling there because those hooks are sharp so there's a basic rope lure. Now I like to do a, a little bit more with that. And 
you can either wrap this around, make a, make your head like that. And I do like to do that just to solidify it a little bit more um, because they do take quite a beating and if you do it well the first time, it will last you through quite a th few fish. Um, I've caught 15, 16 fish on the same rope lure and still had it working great. Um, it's not one that gets worn out, it's not like the plastics and that, that a gar would just rip it up. I did use a plastics on gar once and I learned my lesson from that. But I'll go through and I'll make this pretty good and I'll just throw a couple half hitches in here if you can see that. Just make a loop, put it through the end, tighten it up, do that again and that's not all that's holding it so you don't have to worry about tying that too well. There we go. And then I'll take that snip off those two ends. Now they're not real sturdy right now so you want to be a little bit careful but you can leave a little nubs on there. See there's little pieces right there. You can take your lighter and since they're not natural fibers they will melt. And so there you have it. That will catch gar. But what I like to do is dress them up a little bit. You can put flash in with them. Um, I have red paint here that I'm going to try on one of these and uh, just dip it right in. So we'll go ahead and do that and we will let it dry for a while and then we can add some other parts to it like uh, flash, give it a little bit more appeal to the fish. So what I'll do is I'll actually bend this in half and I have a little rack up above here that I can hang it on so when it dries we'll actually have a red minnow instead of just white. It'll have the white tail. I don't like to mess with the tail too much, but you can see that. And then even your leader's a little bit red. Um, and theory behind that is fish see red. I do have a little gar in my uh, fish tank, and he absolutely loves to go after the brightly colored fish first. So if I get him some rosies and I get him some goldfish, he, he tends to eat the goldfish first, which gives me the reason that I like to make him a little bit more flashy. But now you can see, you got that nice bright right, red and white. We can put eyes on there, but what I was talking about before was the flash. And that will get their attention. Not a necessity, but this is just another thing that I use for my fly tying gear. Um, I do have tie flies frequently but you can add this in and it will get ripped off by the fish but it's all worth it if you even just get one fish and then uh, as time goes on you'll want bigger fish and bigger fish but so that's about the length that I want I actually want the flash a little bit longer um, just for the attention factor but I'll cut that right there Set that off to the side. It's a little bit tougher to tie these because they are long. And I'll just put just one set of flash in there. Um, you can sprinkle it in, but this is just the way that I'm going to do this one. Just once again, if you've ever tied flies, same way. Grab my head cement. The great thing about these lures for a beginner to be able to tie them is nothing has to be perfect. There can be hanging spots off. Um, you don't have to worry about exactly how it looks as long as you like it. 